okay, seriously, I'm here with Joey K. Dude, how you doing? Hey. I'm good. All right. Good Hi. to see you. Yeah, hey, hey man. Too. Sorry. Yeah, we're hanging by the sauna. It's a nice sauna. We checked it out, and uh, it's got your stamp of approval, I believe. It's not humid enough here by this lake, so we just thought, <laughs> let's get close to that Turn sauna up. because I feel kind of dry. I don't really feel greasy enough yet. And if we're going to do an interview, especially in film, we should really get some layers of grease going on us, you know? Just to, you know. <laughs> it's the festival thing, you know? Yeah, you need to be greasy. You got to be greasy, like, you know. Sully. That's yeah. like Sully from Monsters Incorporated. Kind of, yeah, and my yeah. first name's Mike, so it's Mike Sully, oh, which nice. makes totally right. sense in the Monsters Incorporated world. It does. It's um, a great movie. Okay, so we're in Quebec. We're at Rockfest, uh, and it's a good town for metal. It's a good town for punk. And, uh, I mean, you wrote a song about Montreal, so... You know, talk about Quebec and, uh, you know, the, 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 the fan base here. The province of Quebec. What's this town called? Is this Montebello? Montebello, so yeah. This truly is Montebello. This is like yeah. a really beautiful place. Yeah. And I don't think people like my music here. I think they like my music in other cities. No, you just rocked it, dude. Yeah, but they're all from elsewhere. Oh. <laughs> so what am I talking about? The province or am I talking about cities, specific cities? Or? Let's, uh, let's, talk about, uh, let's talk about the province of Quebec. It, it is... Um, an amazing place as far as, um, what do I know about Quebec? Other than that they've been very kind to me over the years. Yeah. So I uh, am deeply thankful and appreciative of you know people up here. Whatever I've done musically, people have responded to for whatever reason up here. I'm not sure what that means, but it's not really true anywhere else in the world, you know? So I have a kind of connection through my music with people here and I, I don't want to sound cheesy but it means a lot to me because I care about what I do you know yeah. so I love that uh, and I also feel like some of the best shows that I've ever had in my life and met a lot of really great people have you know these things have happened here so you know I wrote a song yeah you wrote a song Montreal. I wrote a song Why Montreal? called Montreal and it should have been called Quebec yeah, yeah. And, and it, it should have been, yeah, it should have been less... Um, or Montebello. Yeah, or <laughs> it certainly should, uh, yeah, it should have been a wider, I couldn't say Canada. Canada's a little too big, and there are parts of Canada that I don't like so much. Oh. Sorry. Um, well, Montreal, you obviously like Montreal a lot. I mean, what a yeah, city. Right? I love that city. And, you know, like I said, I've made a lot of really great friends over the years there, and some of the best shows I've ever played have been there. And people seem to kind of understand, um, even having... You know, even the fact that it's a second language to so many, they seem to understand my lyrics too, which is kind of amazing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there are tons of people singing along. Yeah, I'm kind of blown away by that, yeah. always, you know? Um, I mean, yeah, I can play almost anywhere in uh, America, as in that America, yeah. the U.S. Yeah. And, um, you know, a lot of times people don't seem to really, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting, you know? Where, you know, it's the same with, like, Germany or something, you know, certain certain countries I go to that people kind of seem to really identify with. I talk more about lyrics in foreign speaking, you know, places, you know, to me, foreign to yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, how do you... I find that kind of amazing. Does that keep it refreshing, you know, when you can go into a country where, or, you know, a, a province or, you know, wherever, where people don't speak the language necessarily, but are singing along, you know what I mean? After so many years, yeah. you know? No, it's great. Um, it's really great. Yeah. I don't know if I have much to say. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, it's so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Montreal and Quebec, uh, the, the entire place. I mean, I, yeah, it's been very loyal to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that matters to me. Cool. When you, when you do what I do in music, what, what I've done, uh, when you're a person that hasn't really made videos, or not many anyway, and we haven't really solicited radio, and we haven't really, it's always been about kind of word of mouth and people being loyal to your band. Yeah. And, I come from kind of a punk rock background, I guess, you know, like an older one, yeah. I suppose. And it was before it was a phenomenon, you know, it was a smaller phenomenon. And I think that it, it was always about word of mouth and communication between people underground. And so anytime there's a, a place that is that stays with you, you know, that doesn't flee, you feel like this amazing pride. You know, that's an incredible yeah. thing. And so. I guess you grow a bond with that, with yeah, each of do. those places. You do. Um, uh, I, I got to ask um, uh, New Material. Hey! Hi! You posted a bunch of stuff on Bandcamp, right? Uh, yeah. 
I know. I got distracted by my friends there. That's okay. Mel's very distracting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you posted you posted some new stuff. Or demos, right? Oh yeah. No, um, I just recently. Well, I was supposed to be here. I have a band called Bad Loud that just recorded with that man right there. We just did a record with Bill, and um, at the Blaster Room, and uh, we basically do rock versions of my acoustic music. At this point, we're writing a new record, but. So we were on tour and we made it three days. It was a North American tour. We made it to Las Vegas and uh, somebody in the band got ill in a critical sense of the word. I mean, I've never canceled a tour due to ailment. I mean, I've had 104 temperature throwing up and I've still played and shit my pants on stage. You know, that's a rule. Um, but this guy, you know, he could have died. So we had to actually cancel the tour and go home. And the only reason that I'm here today uh, with my acoustic is because my band couldn't be in. Um, the promoter was really um, persuasive. Yeah. You know, he just he just kept saying, "Come on, man, come on, you know, fly up here and just play the show," you know. And, and I didn't want to let anybody down. All the other promoters didn't really care. <laughs> <laughs> and we canceled the show, but this guy seemed to care, so I, I got on a plane and I came up with my acoustic, which, by the way, was really fucking weird because it's not. It's not the best thing in the world to play acoustic after like five metal bands. Well, that's what I wanted to ask. I mean, you know, you've played obviously festivals with Lagwagon before, and uh, you know, but how when you're doing the acoustic thing in a festival environment, you know, how do you pull it off? Especially, yeah, when you have, you know, friggin' Whitechapel coming on next or whatever. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I I, I was sitting in the hotel room behind us, not 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 the uh, sauna, but I actually have a room. It's Joey's room. Yeah, yeah. this is where I sleep. It's killer. It's awesome. It's really moist. Yeah. Uh, it's like a giant <laughs> vagina, really. Yeah. And uh, let's go in. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Um, but uh, I, I have a window view of the stages, and I was sitting there, you know, kind of practicing because I hadn't planned to play acoustic, and I haven't really done much acoustic lately. And so I, I was kind of going over songs in my hotel room that I was going to play. And I'm looking out the window, and it's just one band after another, just roar, roar, you know. And I'm like, oh my god what am I doing? Yeah. This is going to be a nightmare. But, you know, I should have known up here that people were people really were all about they it, were yeah. crying, they were singing along, and it turned out to be all right. And I think maybe it was kind of nice to be a little break in the action there. It was all right. Uh, I had a good time. In uh, retrospect, releasing uh, doesn't play well with others. Um, you know, you did the download thing, and then you, you put it on vinyl and CD afterwards. Yeah. How did it work? It worked great. Um, you know, it's not... I didn't buy a house yeah. uh, or a car or dinner, but um, no, I mean, you know, it, it, it's not like a financially fiscal kind of amazing thing, but as far as like, and, and I knew that going in, you know, of course, but as far as the return yeah. uh, on a personal level, when you're dealing directly with people with music, which really in a way is what it should be about, you know, all the other stuff just gets in the way, the business. So it was really, uh, a pleasure for me to do that again, especially at this point in my life, you know, to kind of not have to deal with any middleman and just kind of manufacture on my own and do a record at my house and ship with my family in my basement. And uh, I loved it. I, I actually loved it. I would do it for the rest of my life, but I don't know if I'm going to have time because I got to get a job. <laughs> I think you got a pretty good one, man. Yeah. No, I got an okay job, but you know, it's 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 it's. If I were to do that only, which is probably the most pleasant thing in my life, I don't think that I could pay rent and house my daughter and feed her. How is she, by the way? Thank you. The craziest bug just landed. Yeah, it's coming back. Did you get that? Yeah, I wanted to pick it up and put it on the screen. It was a June bug. Yeah. Lent. That bug was drunk. Yeah. Um, speaking of your daughter, um, that was a big part of that record for you. Um, yeah. How is she, and you know, how's family life, and you know, being a rock and roll dad? It's great, um, except we have lice. When you have a kid, they get lice, oh, and uh, so we've been delousing. I'm okay now. You're, you, you're sir, good. okay, good, good. cool. This interview's <laughs> over. I don't think it's gonna get here, ready. Come here, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the sauna. Yeah, the last few days have been pretty dramatic. I went home from that tour, and you know, that wasn't good anyway. Yeah. Going home, uh, you know, having the canceled tour. And then I got home and my wife's like, yeah, I think Violet has lice. I'm like, oh, whatever, who cares? I had no, punk idea. Rock. I had no idea what that means. Apparently it means nothing to cavemen, but to the modern man, <laughs> lice 
is like a three day complete, no, two weeks, months, I don't know, but three days of just a total nightmare. You have to literally take all the surfaces in your house that have fabric, all the stuffed animals, all the clothes. It's like bed bugs. You have to wash everything. It's like bed bugs. It's a total nightmare. And they don't go away. You poison them. You put these chemicals in your hair and your daughter's hair. And of course, your seven year old daughter's like screaming. Um, but other than the fact that we're a diseased, dirty, filthy <laughs> punk rock house at home, uh, my life is wonderful. Nice. I have a great family and uh, I like what I do. So. And I live in San Francisco, which is an amazing great city, man. I got to yeah. go to San Fran last year, and uh, I loved it, man. It's an awesome place to live. Yeah. I will say that. Um, last question, uh, Lagwagon, what's up in that department? Uh, right now, uh, a really good friend of mine is learning songs on the bass. One of my really closest friends. And uh, in July, we're going to rehearse and see how it goes. And I really hope he gets the gig. Because it, it, it would be it would mean it would renew my kind of love for touring with the band if if one of my closest friends was in the band. I mean we're all family, you know. We all know each other, but um, having lost Jesse a few years ago, it, it felt like a blow that we couldn't recover from. Yeah. You know, I mean when you've been in a band as long as us, when somebody leaves the band, it's it's a little like a divorce. You know, it feels kind of like unfixable. I don't I don't know. Not too many people get divorced and get back together. So. Uh, we fiddled with uh, another friend of ours, and it didn't really work out necessarily, but uh, this time I, I, I was talking to Dave, Dave Ron, who plays drums in the Gimmies. We did a Gimmies record recently, and him and I were sitting down and talking about it, and we're like, so are we done, or are we not done? And I said, well, if I could get a really close friend of mine to be in the band, I, it, it would renew my love for the, you know, the thing, and, um, and he was like, cool, you know, and apparently they've been working on stuff and from what I understand it's working out so in July we're gonna all get together and it goes we well. may be here very soon is all I'm saying all right bad it be next year but uh, yeah we're working on it cool. you can't you never quit a band yeah. all these people will break up in the bands you know they break up their bands and they come back and go oh, we're back together now it's such bullshit yeah, it's like totally. as far as I'm concerned if your band's been a band for 20 years or longer you're it's it's you're a lifer you never ever get out. It's like being in prison. <laughs> you know, it's like being married. I don't know, but kids. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're locked in. So, you know, uh, some t we take long breaks. That's all. And people start rumors. But Lagwagon has never broken up. People it's a hiatus. Up. It was a hiatus. Yeah, hiatus. Yeah. yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. All right. That yeah. works. And we don't even call it that. <laughs> we just stop doing stuff for a while. <laughs> we just get lazy. We get lazy. <laughs> I don't. Well, I you have, have a family, have like man. You're dealing bands. with lice. Yeah. I, I just form eight bands. That's yeah. what I do yeah, to yeah, make yeah. up for the time down for lag cool. Joey, thanks for your time, man. Right, my pleasure. Thank you, dude. Right, cheers. Cool. Explore Music wears English Laundry Apparel.